Welcome back, welcome back. You already know what it is. Making another great truck for you guys. So go ahead and say it. Rush ABQ. And go ahead and put some emphasis on that Q because you already know what we do. We're making the videos that you want and the trucks that you need and there ain't no different from this guy other than another one-off design. I've been waiting a long time for this truck to come out and I'm so excited to present it to you. I would like to introduce to you guys Neon Knights. Ah uh, man, this thing I've been waiting so long to come out with. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into the base spec. We got a 565 horse 2050 torque performance X15 engine. Low, low air leaf on the back, five inch drop on the front, 13.2 front axle with a 40,000 rear axle rating. Just something we did a little bit different this time is we got, went ahead and did an air ride front axle. We'll get into that a little bit later in the video, but I just want to go ahead and start that up to let you know how excited I am to present that. But of course, 18 speed, uh, 280 wheel base. We got the 325 rear ratios with tall 24 rubber. Uh, tall 24, it looks great in that fender, but it also gives you a perfect 1400 RPM rating when you're at 75 miles per hour. I mean. I know I said it just a second ago, but look at that. That wheel fits that fender. I mean, I'm nothing against small tires, but it just looks a little bit better. Um, it's a little hard to see in this video, and I'm gonna try to show you a couple times throughout it, the green neon lighting, but it just, I got a video on Instagram and on LinkedIn. If you would like to check it out, check us out on Rush ABQ, uh, you'll see it. So breather lights, eight inch drop panels, all through underglow, you will see it, pieces of it throughout the truck. Um, we got the 60 inch stand-up stacks. They're gonna have a seven inch diameter miter cut. Um, you know, of course. So we kind of went with the bents last time. We went back to our standards. Big Texas bumper, extra bar grills. Man, look how beautiful that headlight is. And I mean, if you're old school, I get it. But the new school headlight, you can't really knock it. It's a nice looking headlight and it performs properly. So our color setup on this, it's gonna be a neon bright green with a white base coat. Um, I went with the standard six flush clear loading lens lights with the logger style radio and CB antennas. Of course, tall 24s on the back. Look how clean those looks. I got the Ecopia closed shoulder tires, which are meant for fuel economy. A 48 inch slide, I believe it's set back at negative six or maybe negative 10, somewhere around there. Your standard FW35 fifth wheel, which is also painted because the frame is painted neon green. You know what time it is. People still mud flaps. I'm gonna say it every single time. People still mud flaps. So we put the standard premium stainless steel mud flap hangers. If they ain't got the tools, they're not getting it off. Got the 30 inch Hodge built fenders, the best you can get from the factory. Of course, painted tanks. So 150 gallon passenger tank with 135 gallon driver side tank. Um, I wanted to get all the four straps on there. That was pretty much the only way of doing it. Um, I kind of forgot to mention it, but we do have those premium SS uh, air cleaners. I mean, there's no other way of doing it. You might as well do it when you're building such a high class truck. Extra bar grills and extra roof clearance lights. Um, you know, we customize it to an extent until a customer tells us exactly what they want us to do to it, and then we will do it. But, you know, breather lights, the works. Now, I want a little bit of the California feel. So we went with a beige interior. I mean, it is a little harder to keep clean, but so is an all white truck. So whoever's buying this, I'm sure is a pretty clean individual um, gauge package. I got the full wood grain. So this is gonna be platinum interior in the sleeper and cabin. Uh, full locking differentials. I mean, everything that you need. I, I don't know how other was to say it. Uh, we're building the trucks that people want. Um, chrome sh uh, shifter, fold away arms. Once again, big fellas like me have a hard time squeezing through that gap. So that fold away arm is just a small detail that makes a difference. We got the CB radio. Uh, a lot of people don't really like our CB radio, but they do like the um, interior color encasement. So we definitely do that as often as we can. Uh, with the with the platinum interior, you do get a subwoofer. Um, you know, of course, we got the actual standard panels that came with it. So if something happened to your drop panels, you'd be able to get rid of it. I mean, get it fixed. Um, you got your, you know, fire extinguishers and triangles, you know, pretty much the stuff that all DOT guys are looking for to make sure that we're good to go. Um, you know, guys, it, it's hard not to repeat the same thing as you're doing these videos, but I mean, we make quality trucks because we have quality customers. You can't expect to have quality customers if you don't have quality trucks. 
So I know I told you I was going to try to show you guys this neon green light through this video. Um, it's a super bright day outside, so it's hard to see it. So once again, go ahead and check out Rush ABQ on Instagram. We will have that video posted up there of this truck glowing beautifully on, um, you know, inside of our paint booth. If you want to follow my LinkedIn, it's under uh, Darren Young, D-A-R-Y-N, Young. You'll find me there. I post a lot of stuff frequently there. It's a little bit more videos than pictures on that. And Instagram is a little bit the opposite. But, um, yeah. Hey, the funny thing is a 579 hood is much harder to pull than this big old long hood 389. Maybe it's a leverage thing, but I just pulled this thing down with one hand. Big old performance engine, but I told you I was going to show you this dual leveling valve system of this air ride front. It is awesome. I mean, you feel bumps. Well, matter of fact, you don't feel bumps. That's the problem um, in a sense as some older guys don't like it because it just kind of feels like you're floating. Um, but nonetheless... If you're driving a truck that is considered the Cadillac of trucks, well, Cadillac <laughs> rides as smooth as this air ride front, and that's what we do. No offense to anybody that likes anything else, but, you know, we are the Cadillac of trucks. At least that is the slogan that I've heard so many times. But, hey, guys, I love making these videos. I love making these trucks. The excitement that I hear in people's voices when they call is what makes it all worth it, the time, the dedication, and make it happen. But thank you so much for joining the Red Oval crew, and thank you for tuning in to Rush ABQ. Go ahead and subscribe if you like what you see, guys. Thank you. Hey, guys. If you like what you see, hit that little subscribe button. And if you want to really keep up, go ahead and hit that bell, and it will constantly notify you on everything that we do. And also, if you haven't started following us, check us out at Rush ABQ on Instagram. Thank you, guys.